Hi, it's Kendia here with Simply Kendia. I wanted to share this custom um, junk journal that a lovely lady ordered from me to give as a gift to her granddaughter. I was uh, am so happy to be able to help share in um, bringing some joy to her granddaughter. She will be adding her a, a lot of her own memorabilia from. Um, she has, says she had some from World War II and different family things that she wanted to add to this so I didn't fill it up as much as I normally would um, so that she can have room to add her beautiful memorabilia. So on the front it has her granddaughter's name, Samantha. I decoupaged this really pretty napkin on here, added some flowers, some ribbon and some lace lace here. Um, this turned out to be a very lacy book. She wanted it to be girly, pinks and purples and yellows. So that is what we did. On the ring here I have some ribbons and lace. This is some old ribbon. I did a little bit of a, uh, some charms here. A found object. An old a pull, um, belt buckle some bling, some pearls, and then on the bottom of this one I added a little blingy pearl thing as well, and then on the bottom of this I added little music notes on both sides because her daughter sings and she likes to sing with her grandpa and um, so I did a lot of music, vintage music paper, um, music adding music throughout the whole book. So here on the first page, um, she lived, her grandma wanted things in a few things incorporated. This is an old Utah map that I added in here and on the back side can um, write notes, add a picture. I did this paper, a vellum paper um, pocket added this cute sticker that's for says forever love because a grandma's love for her grandchildren is forever on this page I um, added an envelope so that there's plenty of room for things to be tucked in made a handmade flower with some laces and ribbons and an old button there here I uh, took a heart doily and added it to an envelope to make a little tuck spot on the side and created a little tag for it. This page, I didn't do too much to, that way she can add some things that she wants to on here. She can keep the tags where they are or she can move them around depending on how she wants to fill the book with her memorabilia. I added this so that way she can clip something onto the page if she wants to. On this side, I is the other side of the doily and the envelope. I added some lace and this burlap and ribbon on here and then so the envelope you can add some little stuff, some little stuff in there and again this page has been left more blank so that way she can put her own memorabilia there but it still looks real cute with the envelope and then you can have something there. So her granddaughter happens to be a lifeguard, so she wanted me to incorporate something to do with that. So I found this fun vintage photo on Pinterest of um, some lifeguards from Venice Beach. I'm assuming here in Cali there in California. I sewed on some lace to it so that it would have a little fun lace trim and some sewing on it. Um, I just love the way that t turned out. Here I made a pocket and I added some stickers on it that says be true to yourself, celebrate family, embrace friendship. And made a tag, added some eyelet lace on the top. I did some sewing around the page here. It was just a notebook page added some that I folded in half and sewed up some old vintage sheet music in the background here I used some vellum 
to create a pocket and inside the pocket I added let's see if you can see that better I added some more of those little note charms um, music note charms in there so that way um, to incorporate the music a little bit more this tag I did this fun punch out of it and just some aging and background stamping on the back side still can write on it and then added this pretty little ribbon here I made this pocket um, out of some old paper so it it's very very it's not the sturdiest paper so I added some pattern paper a sticker that says dream and then this sticker that says enjoy the little things for someday you will look back and realize they were the big things um, and then on the back of it I added this song here the lyrics to um, for Ohio's um, college that um, they sing on game day because both her father and grandfather went to um, Ohio College so um, she would the, lo the lovely lady would like that to be added I added this really cute paper clip to it because it is yellow and had some flowers on it thought went well to the theme that way she can clip on stuff to the envelope added this cute little button and then on this page I left it kind of um, more blank again so she can add a picture here or add some memorabilia add a picture on the back here or she can write about the picture she added on the front and there's room for her to add stuff here and it says pretty a sticker that says pretty here on the bottom so this page I added this cute little pocket I made out of notebook paper it's a double tuck so I added a little blank card there oh, I need to ink that up let me set that out so I can remember added this little card that has a stamped image that I um, colored up and it's on a file folder and this cute little sticker I have an envelope I made here that I added these pretty stickers that were in the colors of the book that she wanted. On this side I put I love you more than since it's coming from her grandma. I thought her grandma could put something there, a cute little note to her granddaughter. And then I added this Ski Utah little old photo um, for some of the memorabilia that she wanted. And then on this page, I clipped this Cedar Point on Lake Erie picture, old picture of a book, as again, some of the memorabilia she wanted, but it's not permanent, so that way she can use this page how she wants and she can move this around how she wants, um, but there's still something there if she decides that that's how she wants to keep it. This page, again, I left more blank so that way she can add her memorabilia here. I put um, this, cut out this old part of a amusement park map for Cedar Point, Cedar Point in Ohio. Added a little bling here. It was from the 1966 season. And then here is an envelope where I added the map from that season. Thought this was a cute little paper clip that went with it because when you're on amusement parks you usually take a lot of pictures or on vacation um, either way on the back side of this envelope i just added some ribbons some stickers hearts and flowers then i added this old picture of cedar point the entrance to the amusement park just left the back blank so she could add picture, memorabilia, write a note about something that she put on one of the pages. Here is a little heart sticker. Here I made a really fluffy lace flower out of um, 
a old lace garter I had. So I added the ribbon from the garter, the bow, and the lace. I thought it turned out really pretty. And some music sheet paper and some more lacy ribbon added to the edge so she can put what she wants on this page and still have a little bit of decoration on it. So here, again, a page where she can put what she wants on it, but it's decorated up a little bit for her with some stickers. And you have the lace from the other side poking out and the, the lace ribbon there. Here I aged up a piece of paper I photocopied and printed on. Um, this is a song that her, her granddaughter likes to sing with her grandfather. So I printed out the lyrics for that and aged it up. Added this little pocket on the back and just a little envelope, or, or not envelope, a little tag with some more of that pretty blue ribbon. And I put this piece of paper on it that says it's only with the heart that one can see rightly what is essentially is invisible to the eye. Here's another page that I added a little bit of bling on. You can see this bling from some ribbon from the previous page so that she could add her memorabilia in there. This was a funny sign that has to do with beaches that I just thought was an old sign that I thought was be fun in here since her granddaughter is a lifeguard. It says, ladies on the beach must wear bloomers. That's some, a city ordinance from somewhere from back in the day. This can pop up so she can add memorabilia here. Use this ribbon and an old pin with hearts and pearls and some bling in it. Made an envelope out of some sheet music here. I left this envelope empty so that she can put what she wants in it and put this pretty butterfly. It says life is so good with a little bit of the same bling that's on the front of the book. And then on this side of the envelope I have a little paper clip that's in the shape of a bird. And I made this little tag that I am going to start putting in all the books I make. Because on the back side it says Handmade for You by Simply Candia. I sewed, sewed on the tag, put the adorable bunny stamp I have on here that I love, some cute pink polka dotted ribbon. And then on the last page here I just did a simple sticker. You have the lace from the other side coming through and another spot for her to use for memorabilia. Then on the back side of the page I added this pretty ribbon this purple ribbon and then I added this um, sheet music paper thought that it would be really nice for her to leave a lovely little loving message to her granddaughter about the book or why she um, is giving this to her daughter or any just little message that she wants to put here to her granddaughter on the back of the book I thought that would be a fun spot to do that for her so that is this book. I hope the, that the lady who ordered this really enjoys it and her. I hope her granddaughter daughter enjoys it. I love making stuff and being part of somebody's special gifts that they give that have meaning and have um, something from the heart in them. So I was happy to do this for her and I will see you all later and hope you have a great day. Bye.